YouTube with Axe Boy XB Slayer, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a quick section I like to call two minute tips. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips that will increase your productivity and workflow after you've taken your beautiful shots and you want to get them to look nice and crispy. Not going to waste any time. Let's get into it. All right, let's start the clock and let me drag that down here so it's not in the way. And let's begin. Now, a lot of my photo editing personally comes straight out of the camera, goes right into Lightroom, and after Lightroom and doing all my first adjustments, I take it over to Photoshop for anything final to clean stuff up. And then after that, if I find anything, I'll take it right back to Lightroom. I know it's kind of an awkward process. That's just what works for me. What works for me not, might not work for you. It's all about finding your own personalized workflow. Tip number one is going to be presets, presets, presets. Now, a lot of beginners hear about developing their own style. And with this comes the mindset that presets are a bad thing as it's something that someone else is using and it's not really your own. However, I believe that presets are a fantastic way to get a good starting point to any of your photos. Now, I'm not going to say slap them on, call it a day, be done. Think of it more as a foundation to your picture. Go through, give your photo that character that you were still wanting, but use this as a foundation that you wouldn't be able to do yourself without the previous knowledge that these people have put into these packs. These preset packs are super useful, and I think they're fantastic for people just getting into photo editing, and I think they help you get started without having to learn everything yourself right away. Now look how easy that was to take that photo from what it was and now to what it is. And it was that simple with a preset pack and I made my adjustments along the way that I wanted to make and gave it a different feel. And just a heads up, this is not my photo. This is actually a photo from North Borders. I will drop his information down in the description below. He has an awesome preset pack that I'd recommend for everyone. Speaking of presets, almost any photographer or videographer will use this colorway at some point in their career as it is probably the most used style across the industry and that is orange and teal. Something about it just catches the eye and it's everywhere. It's in a lot of movie posters that you may not have even noticed. So if you're stuck with a good image and can't figure out what you can do, orange and teal more than likely will do the job for you. It obviously depends on the mood of the image. Quick Photoshop tip to save you some time instead of pen tooling out your entire subject. If you have a good picture like this, you can go here to your magic wand tool or W on your keyboard. And up here you have a select subject right here. And if you use this, if you have a good enough quality image with a little bit of blur in the background, it will cut out your entire picture. You can make your mask from this. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of an issue up top here. You go ahead and take your quick selection tool or your pen tool. You go ahead and add that right back in. And then you are good to mask that out. And it does a pretty good job. And I'm not saying that you should be doing this every time, but if you have a good quality image, this is definitely a tool to help you get started and not waste so much time pen tooling out every single detail. Switch sides in you guys real quick just to show you this. This was a design I had made last night, so please excuse my uh, organization. It's a little messy right now. But if I want to take all the layers that are underneath what I, the selection that I'm at, I can go Shift, Control, Alt, E. This will make you a copy of everything underneath that is an active layer, so that has to have the eyeball clicked. And then you can take this, I convert this to a smart object, and then I will take this into my camera raw to do my final adjustments to my layer or to my project. I find this to be a super useful shortcut as it doesn't merge everything together and destroy it. It gives you a copy so you can still take that final image You can go back do your camera raw and then check everything that you had changed before and make sure it's correct. Now I know that was pretty quick but I wanted to keep it nice and concise and easy to follow. A lot of these tips go out towards the beginners but you never know what you may find. You might find a tip that you just have been overlooking this entire time. I do it all the time so I know that it uh, definitely can happen. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more of this style go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Helps out a lot and hope you enjoyed. Leave me any feedback down in the comments below. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.